Do you remember taking your child to their first day of school? Do you remember the thoughts that were racing through your mind? Will he be happy? Will she make friends? Will he be kind to the other children? Will they be kind to him? And what happens if they're not? Well, they were playing a game, and two of them, and then I said, can I please play? And then, and then they just said no, and they ran off, and that kind of hurt my feelings. Mm. Our kids will come to, to, to moments of social tension with each other. What we can do in a school is anticipate that and actually have a clear process. They told me after their birthday that um, we, they didn't invite me and I felt kind of left out and stuff. So what if there was a process in place at school that not only laid down the academic foundation, but taught the children tools to be respectful, kind, and empathetic. At Greenwood, we're doing just that, with the launching of a social inclusion program led by noted educator Kim John Payne. This process teaches the children the skills to become more socially and emotionally intelligent. Conflict is embraced as a way for children to grow in awareness of themselves and others. Our, our teachers are trained to work implicitly through storytelling, through art, through even like things like mm, choosing roles for plays. What the social inclusion approach does is that it adds to that toolkit. What it does is it takes those deep implicit tools, keeps using them, but then creates slightly more explicit ways of working with it. The focus this year building respectful community, developing a common language throughout the school, such as right action, right speech. Children hear that from each other, from adults, so it starts to have a bigger impact when everybody's on the same page. In the classroom, we're working with um, tattletaling versus truth-telling, what that means, waiting for the right time to speak, how do we approach others, how, do, how are we interacting in the classroom, on the playground. We're just really building awareness in different ways of how we treat each other. And what we also do is have older children, 8th and 7th graders, actually become real buddies to the younger children. Be their mentor, uh, mentor, take care of them like a buddy. They notice, usually 7 to 10 days ahead of watch this, it's usually about 7 to 10 days ahead of when any adult picks it up. The small things really count, you know, you may not think you're doing a lot, but to someone like a second grade or something, it may mean the world to them and they can move in and be that friend and build a bridge back to the child being included in the game. You know, sometimes, you know, they can't always, you know, find their voice to speak up, you know, stand up for themselves or something like that. And so, you know, you can speak out for them, stand up for them. What I feel the biggest benefit for starting this program has been for the whole school is that we are all getting together and working together more as an adult community on what we want to bring to the children and how we want the children to work with each other and um, interact with each other. And if you had one big wish for how people would treat each other at school, what's your big wish? That they would be nice to everyone. <laughs>